thank you for coming to the virtual open house for 917 Etowa in Royal Oak. Uh, super excited to show you this adorable Craftsman bungalow. Um, it's maybe a 5-10 minute ri bike ride from downtown Royal Oak. Um, it's 1,658 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, we've got uh, lots of great things to see. I'll show you outside real quick, but make sure you um, stay along if you want to check out the beautiful master suite upstairs. And um, you have to see all the, the natural light in this house. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so starting on the outside, these beautiful trees here. Look at the curb appeal of this place. Coffee on the porch. Um, and then here, just a quick look at the large two-car garage. It's not attached, but it's just about as close as you can be without being attached. Um, and then let's head on inside. Super cute covered porch. Um, okay. So when we walk in here, you have large coat closet, which we don't always find in the Woodward Corridor. Um, and then you can check yourself as you're walking out of the house. Um, and then this beautiful bright living room. Look at the hardwood floors. This house was built in 1927. Um, this is an old house and it is in beautiful condition. Um, look at this huge window in the view. And here you'll find wood burning fireplace. Hey, it's us again. Um, and then over here, through the living room, you have a good sized dining room. Large window here. Open up that window, play some cards. Um, and then from here, see we've got the steps up there. You're gonna have to hold on, that's coming later. Um, through here we have the kitchen. I have to say, this kitchen is beautiful. The pictures do not do it justice. Um, tons of cabinet space. And you've got stainless steel appliances. You have a dishwasher, um, stove and refrigerator. But with all this extra space here, um, so much room for preparing. And then really a ton of cabinet space. Of course, the, the top one, that's where we put the things that we use once a year because that's just a little too high for us to reach. But, um, and then again, the light, look at this window. Beautiful, tons of cabinet space or counter space here as well. And then while you're cooking, you've got this huge pantry right behind you. You can't even tell how big it is, but it's great size. Um, get all your spices and stuff in there. Um, yeah, this kitchen is absolutely beautiful in person. So after after you're done cleaning up from dinner, you can hop back here into the bonus family room. Um, so you have that beautiful living room out front with the fireplace and then back here, big window, big sliding glass door with tons of light. And then look at this backyard. So you've got, um, you've got a deck back here. It's in great shape. Um, and then a fully fenced backyard. And then I also found, it's not open, it's not open right now, but it looks like there's um, like a canopy that you can put out. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, like I said, the garage is so close to the house. Um, you can just kind of run, you know, run to and from the car pretty easily. Um, actually, since I have you guys here, I want to show you the... Right? That deck is really nice. Let's have a party on it someday. Um, I want to show you the roof. So you see the roof on the garage. I just want to point out that it is definitely a newer style. I'm not saying it's a new roof, um, but when you look at older roofs, like you can see there, the shingles are just side by side and flat. It's always something I like to teach people how to look at stuff like that. So I want you to know how to look at houses. Um, and then through here you have a large basement. We're just going to pop down really quick. Um, so. Probably not a basement that you're gonna finish. It's kind of low. I'm five foot, so it's 
probably around six feet. Uh, but I like that back behind that wall is where they have all the mechanicals hidden. Um, and the mechanicals look like they're in good shape. I'm not going to inspect them right now, but um, tons of storage space. And then you've got awning. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> like, what is that word again? Um, and then you've got the laundry over here. But really clean, bright, lots of room down here. Um, so we'll head back up here to the bonus family room. I wish I could like show you guys just how large this is. And then here they've already got all the setup for you to mount your TV. Um, okay, so now we'll walk back through here, through the kitchen, back to the dining room, this beautiful living room that I would probably make my grown-up reading room, um, that fireplace, all the decorations in this window. All right. So we're gonna walk through over here. There are two bedrooms on the main floor. So again, big window, lots of light. And then these two bedrooms, I know that front window. Okay, these two, two bedrooms share this this bathroom with a tub. Um, I love that you have this big window and the shower. Um, good size bathroom. And then I love that over here there's a ton of space for linens. Um, and they had this hidden really well. It's kind of cute. Here you can, I'm not going to close it to save time, but... It closes fine. Um, and then here's the other bedroom. And then we would look more closely at this, again, if we were like touring the house in person, but you can see here um, some of the plumbing. They've got copper plumbing. I th am pretty sure they have copper plumbing throughout. Um, okay, are you guys ready to see the beautiful master suite up here? So I don't think it's new carpet, but it's still definitely got its fluff. It's some good carpet up here. And then, so we've got, here we go. Welcome to your oasis. Um, okay. So the thing about this house is it, it's a bungalow, um, but all of these walls are extremely tall. I don't know if you can really see, um, but you could easily put your bed here or here and not have to worry about it. Like you can have the, the tallest post you want and, and it's gonna fit just fine. Um, they do have this built-in dresser here. I imagine that you can probably take it out if you want, but it is a ton of space and it's in great condition. Um, and then as we turn around, you've got this big nook over here, which would be an office, um, great spot for an office. I would love to have my desk up against that window right now. Um, so that's an option there. And then here, <laughs> uh, we've got the, the full bathroom. I just, well, I'm not gonna talk too much because it's echoey in the bathroom, but the large, stand-up shower i honestly this is a, a really good size large stand-up shower big window here opens up um yeah and then you've got sitting space here so you can get ready for work plug your hair dryer in there have all the things um and it's us again um okay so we just got out of the shower we're gonna get ready for the day and we're gonna walk over here these beautiful doors and head into this gigantic walk-in closet. Um, I also kind of fantasize about making this like a reading nook, but I guess you can only do so much reading and have so many nooks. Um, but huge walk-in closet space. Um, lots of natural light in here too as you're getting ready. And like, I wish I could show you. I mean, you can, you can pretty easily maneuver around in here because um, it is a bungalow, right? So you've got... <laughs> You've got the the sloping ceilings, but it's a great space in there. Um, so we got our clothes out. We're 
ready for the day. We're all fresh and clean after our shower and our master suite. And then <laughs> you have a pull down ironing board, which I just think is super cute. Um, so we'll close that up. All right. It's really difficult to show um, how great these spaces are. Um, I would definitely, if, if you're thinking about this house, I would absolutely encourage you to see it in person. Um, I'm gonna switch over to me now. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I told everybody, but my name's Amber. Uh, <laughs> um, but if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. And um, happy, happy to help. Want to get you in front of this. Oh, and my partner Mike just said, or oh, that could be a changing table for a newborn. Honestly, I okay. So I'm signing off, but I did think about that too. Like this little spot could be such a good spot for like a crib and like a kind of a baby hanging out spot for even a year or two or whatever. Um, anyway, if you guys have questions, leave comments below. Thank you so much for watching 917 Ottawa in Royal Oak. Thanks. Bye-bye.